one of you on Instagram if you had any questions on no poo and if you wanted me to answer them. So I'm gonna answer just a couple of them really, really fast here. So Danielle Hobbs says, why no poo benefits? I think I've already answered that. Like no poo has changed my hair. Like it's so much better. There is no frizz on the top of my hair. I have so much frizz and it's really made me learn about what is good for my hair personally. It's like, I, it's like I've grown a relationship with my hair. Like I understand my hair better now and I know how to look after it. And it's just really freeing not to have to spend loads of money on hair products every month and buy shampoo and conditioner all the time. I don't have to buy anything apart from apple cider vinegar, which lasts ages and Castile soap, which lasts ages. So yeah, and my hair, as I said, it's grown a lot. Um, a lot of you guys have complimented my hair in videos where I've curled it. Um, so you're like, oh my God, you're no poo journey. It looks so great, your hair looks so great. I curled my hair on those days because this is my hair naturally and the videos of my hair looks all kind of like flowy and nice. I curled my hair because I think there have been a couple occasions where I did that because one was around Christmas and obviously because I'm not washing my hair very often, it stays curled for like a week. And the other day it was my birthday. So yeah, that's why. That's another benefit. If you curl your hair and you uh, style your hair, it stays like it. It doesn't change because it's not weighed down by all the product and I used to curl my hair and then it'd be gone within the hour practically. And if I slept on it, it'd be gone. But now I curl my hair and it stays for like a week. So that's pretty great. Ninch, I think that's how you say it. What do you do with the hairdressers? I find as soon as I use shampoo again, even just once, the whole balance is broken. I haven't been to the hairdressers since I started No Poo uh, because I want to grow my hair and I don't see the point in going to the hairdressers unless I wanted a specific haircut because I don't have any split ends, which is pretty amazing because I normally would get so many split ends. And I'm growing my fringe out. I will probably go to the hairdressers in spring to style my hair before I go traveling. Uh, maybe get some layers put in just to make my curls bounce up. But when I go to the hairdressers, I would just say to them, I'm doing no poo, so could I ask not to have my hair washed? And they can do it, they just spray your hair down with water and cut it that way. Um, I've done that in the past just to, I think I've done that in the past to save money and also to save time. When you go to the hairdressers, they give you a trim and they just spritz your hair down and get it wet and they can cut your hair like that. So that's what I would do. And if you must wash your hair because you don't want your hair to be greasy at the hairdressers, use something natural like Castile soap like I did last night. That's what I would do. I'd wash my hair with Castile soap so it was nice and clean and go to the hairdresser and ask them just to wet it. Spider Mama 19 Hi, I'm no poo for three months and I see my hair started growing faster. Do you agree? And do you have a problem with your hair is where your hair is flat on top and back of your head without shampoo? I have this kind of problem. Do you have any tricks to lift up your hair? Love your channel, by the way. So inspiring. Thank you. Yes, my hair is definitely growing faster. Um, it's now almost like mid-length long, which is great because before it was short. It was like bob length so it's growing really really fast which is great i genuinely don't have the problem with my hair being flat on top of my head because uh i found it's only flat today because i i've cleaned it so it's like soft and falling down but the when you have a little bit of oil in your hair from no poo it makes your hair stick up more because there's body there's more body to it like i literally feel like my hair some days when i had like just washed it with apple cider vinegar or water only in particular like water only literally my hair was the most voluminous it's ever been so if you're having a flat hair problem maybe try washing your hair with water more often so washing your hair with whatever it is you're using for no poo maybe once a week or once every two weeks and then doing it with water in between because that seriously gives you some voluminous hair how did your hair smell uh my hair smells great like honestly it doesn't smell the only time it did smell was when i was doing water only and i was exercising a lot because I find that when you sweat and it gets on your scalp, it does smell and it does have that kind of, like smells like hair. But as soon as I started using apple cider vinegar and washing it with something again, it stopped to have that smell. Um, but again, this is totally, I think it's totally different for every person and your hair type and your skin type and all of that. I've, but I've never had a smell that's gross. There's never been a smell that's been like, oh, that stinks. It just smells like hair and like head. Um, it doesn't smell bad though. And if it does smell really bad, you can put some essential oil in some in a, like a bottle with water or something and spritz it on your head. I use rose water sometimes and I spritz it on my face and all over my head and it just smells nice. So yeah. Vegan teacher at X. How do you keep it from going all flat when you sleep on it? I have very similar hair, but it's in a pixie cut right now. I'm wondering if I can keep doing no poo when it's long or if it would just go flat or wonky overnight. 
Uh, no, like literally my hair does not change when I sleep on it overnight, even less so from doing no poo. I find that the oils that stay in your hair keep the sort of shape of your hair. Uh, the only thing that I have found is that because I've been brushing it, it kind of pulls the curls out and the, the amount of grease in my hair would pull the curls out. But I'm not having that problem anymore since using apple cider vinegar again. That was kind of a water only problem. So yeah, I really wouldn't worry about your hair going flat when you sleep on it. And if your hair's short, then that's like the best time ever to do no poo because you've got like short, brand new, fresh hair and it will probably adjust a lot better because there's not gonna be as much length for the oil to like go away from. So that's like the best time to start no poo because you'll have fresh hair as you grow it and you, you'll your hair will probably just be completely used to not being washed from the get go. Art Kate 8 she says, I'm looking forward to it. Have you noticed any different with wearing hats in winter? I do no poo since mid-November and thought I was go I was out of the transformation period, but now it got all weird again. I feel like it's because I only go outside with warm hats at the moment. Have you experienced anything similar? I really can't help you with this because I don't ever wear hats. I literally just don't wear hats because um, I, I really don't spend enough time outdoors in the cold. Like I don't commute and I could work from home. The only time I spend outdoors is walking my dogs and that's, you know, for like half an hour or something, less than that. So I don't wear any hats, but yeah, I, I'll probably be able to get back to you when I start to cycle again when it gets warm because I'll be wearing a helmet. But I can't imagine why that would make a difference to your hair. Maybe look in other areas whether there's something else going on because I don't know that it would be hats unless your hats are making your hair sweat. I don't know, does anyone else have an answer? If anyone else has any answer to these questions that I can't answer, Leave it down below. KPB1216 says, how often do you clean your brush and how? I clean it whenever it looks dirty. Um, and all I do is I pull the hair out first of all, put that in the bin, and then I will just run it under a tap and just scrub with my fingers. And it does take like 10, 15 minutes. It's a really annoying job. Um, but as you progress with no poo, you won't have to use your hairbrush as often and your hairbrush won't get as dirty. So I don't, wash my hair brushes off it anymore because I'm not I'm not having to do that any, as much anymore but if you're doing water only I don't know it depends but just wash it whenever it looks dirty because otherwise you're just going to be putting the dirt back in through your hair gin jelly says do you think when you first transitioned it appeared unhygienic how did you make it through that um no it really didn't I think that I what I've noticed through the whole experience is that you are the only person who really notices like I asked my boyfriend multiple times, does my hair look disgusting? Have you noticed my hair looking any different? He wouldn't notice. The only people that would notice are people like my mum, for example, because she knows I'm doing no poo. And if you scritch and preen, and if you do your research and try and maybe you can slowly transition. So reducing your shampoo, then switching to natural shampoo, and then maybe switching to uh, things like apple cider vinegar, and then maybe try water only. You don't have to do it like overnight straight away and then have like disgusting hair for a few months. That's not how you have to do it. You can do it slowly. That's how I did it anyway. So yeah, I don't feel like at any point my hair felt disgusting or unhygienic. And that's all the questions I have time for because I don't want to ramble too much. I have started a Facebook group called Minimal Beauty because I've noticed in a lot of these comment sections, there's so many of you who know so, so much. And there's also a lot of you who have a lot of questions. And I think it'd be a really great way for us to all help one another uh, answer each other's questions. I've already started two Facebook groups, one for uh, versatile, one called Versatile Vegan for my ebook and for anyone who is vegan or going vegan or whatever. And then I've also got one for minimalism called Declutter Your Life, which is all about minimalism and decluttering and clearing out. And then I just thought, why not? Because I was really enjoying sort of seeing all your guys' posts on those ones. Why not do one for no poo? Because there really are a lot of things that need to be answered. And I found it quite tricky when I was doing no poo to find all the answers and do your research because online there's not a lot of um, information out there apart from the, t the typical baking soda apple cider vinegar method which I don't recommend. Um, baking soda is not good for your hair. <laughs> um, so yeah there's kind of limited resources out there and you have to do a lot of digging and a lot of experimenting to find out so maybe if we helped one another we'd help people cut out making those mistakes and yeah we can all kind of help each other if you're if you're doing no poo join the group and then you can ask all the questions you have and see if anyone's gone through a similar thing so i will link that down below i hope you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too long and rambly and ask me your questions and i'll try and do these updates more often with you and talk about this more because i do find 
when I do these less regularly. I have so much to talk about that uh, these videos are really long. So yes, um, I'll try and do one maybe next week, answering some of your guys' questions if you have them, or in the next few days if there's a lot of questions. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.